The remarkable tale of Mr Feelgood's racing career continues to amaze. After a highly successful stint in his homeland in the United States, which included a little brown jug, his journey ventured to the Southern Hemisphere in 2008 to reside in the care of astute Christchurch-based conditioners Tim and Anthony Butt. Again, success soon followed with his feats in the 2009 Gold Coast Inter Dominion. However, in mid-2010, the grin from ear to ear stallion seemed to have lost his zest for racing when owners Kevin and Kay Seymour and Peter and Zilla O'Shea made the masterstroke decision to transfer Mr Feelgood to the care of Luke McCarthy in Queensland. This decision was the platform for the success that followed in the 2010-11 season. Deliberately skipping the Gold Coast Cup to focus on the Queensland Pacing Championship. This proved the right decision when Mr Feelgood led throughout to secure the first leg of the Grand Circuit. A luckless run in the Miracle Mile and a gallop up the straight in the Cranbourne Cup provided minor hiccups in his season. However, with a textbook drive by McCarthy, he timed his run perfectly to secure the Group 1 Victoria Cup in December. After a well-earned break, Mr Feelgood ventured back across the Tasman to Alexandra Park. Another superb drive by McCarthy got Mr Feelgood within ahead of I'm the Mighty Quinn in the Auckland Cup. He then ran second to Smoke and Up in his first heat of the Inter-Dominion, before again securing the runners-up check in his second heat behind I'm the Mighty Quinn. A run without any luck in the Inter-Dominion final left McCarthy stuck without cover outside Smoke and Up, fading to finish fifth at the line. Upon return to Australia, Mr Feelgood relocated to New South Wales with his trainer before finishing his season with a third placing in the Len Smith Mile at Menangle. Mr Feelgood was trained for the majority of the season in Queensland and is recognised as our Queensland Horse of the Year.